Good evening, good evening, good afternoon, good morning. Whatever time it is that it may be there for you. You know who this is. This is Jermaine Euler Felton here. And there's some things that I just wanted to, you know, get off my heart and off my mind right now and wanted to share here with you. Um, many of you know here that I, face-wise, on Facebook, have not been here for the last 96 hours as mentioned previously before I have made a post about that that I will not be here for the next 40 or the 96 hours and so here I am and the reason for that is because I really needed to refocus and get a better internal perspective of what I do and why I do what I do as well as millions of others around the world perhaps billions However, I will explain that a little further in a bit. Yes, again, as you know who this is, I wanted to just let you all know and greetings and what it is that why I do what I do. I was diagnosed with MS multiple sclerosis nearly 13 years ago and something very amazing happened to me since then. Um, just when I thought my life was over, that I wasn't going to be able to do a lot of the things that I thought I would be able to do, someone whispered in my ear and they had said, do you want to smell this? I then said, sure. And yet the rest is history. I was introduced to Young Living Essential Oils. And since then, I have not looked back since. So what do you ask, what do the oils, you know, what do they do for me and what does the business do for me? So if I may go on, that they have helped me in cutting down my oral medication intake from seven different oral medications down to two and hopefully soon to be none in time. I feel awesome for this truly I feel is a remarkable gift from our Father in God and it has been brought into my life by Gary Young along with many others who have joined the vision to help one person at a time. Along with this amazing or these amazing products I should say here at Young Living Essential Oils I have found a very attractive business opportunity. I'm not prospecting here to anyone but just letting you know a little bit more about my story. Uh, now many of us, you know, we have a job um, that helps us to make a living in this system of things. And once again, for myself, this business is my line of work and what I choose to do for myself. If I may also add that the Holy Scriptures in several places let us know that God does not enjoy a lazy person but lets us all know in three verses here in Ecclesiastes chapter 2 at verse 24 there is nothing better for a man or a woman than to eat and drink and find enjoyment for his or her hard work and again at Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 12 we read for well, wisdom is a protection, and we know first and foremost in a spiritual protection that we get from that wisdom. But also, just as money is also a protection. And once more again, we find at Ecclesiastes chapter 8 and verse 15, it says there, So I recommend rejoicing, because there is nothing better for a man or woman under the sun than to eat and drink and rejoice and this should accompany him or she as he or she works hard during the days of his life or her life which the true God gives him or her under the sun so now all of us do work and like I said we work to you know provide for ourselves to provide things that we need for our family and of course as we have just heard recently um, in our studies that we're not to you know search for or want to be rich 
and by no means this is why I do what I do to be rich or anything like that but my business is something that helps me to put bread on the table and also care for the other necessities that I may have in life and maybe too to have an extra buck or two to maybe have some fun to enjoy to maybe give something back to the kingdom and also to help other friends that I may know that need help and so with that if I was to ask you how many of you use toothpaste how many of you use women use hair products or and, and things of that nature do you make a red cent dime over the things that you use you get a headache what do you do you go buy those meds that are in the pharmacy painkillers and everything like that again do you make a red cent dime over those things or maybe you might recommend a movie or you might recommend a restaurant to someone again the question is do any of you make a red cent dime or for those recommendations that you do here at Young Living I make many recommendations that help not only myself out but others that I may speak to and yet again I buy toothpaste I buy things like that I make money off of it I make what I you know just necessarily need for myself as far as financial things are concerned and so again I don't do this to cause myself or make myself to be rich or anything like that but it helps me to do what I need to do and so the choice is yours I'm not prospecting here but I just wanted to get this message out to you and just let you know a little bit of what I do for myself I'm enjoying it I'm having much fun with it it also frees up some time for myself the business does not take up a lot of my time it actually frees up time more time for maybe my ministry and other things that I need to do and want to do in my life so before this you know ends I just want to say thank you for listening and hopefully I get a chance to talk to you guys soon again this is Jermaine Orla Felton over and out and if you have anything that you need to say to me you know where to, you know where to reach me I'll talk to you soon I love you all. Agape. May you all be well and in good health.